The word Lord, represented in all capital letters in most English Bibles, is known as the Tetragrammaton. It expresses the combination of these Hebrew letters. This name is countless thousands of years old. It is the most holy name of God, given to Moses at the burning bush, the one that most English translations render as I am. The Hebrew letters sound like this, Yud, He, Vav in the modern Hebrew, or Wa in the ancient Hebrew, and then He. Yud He Wa He is also the forgotten name of God, which Jewish scholars and researchers say has a meaning and a pronunciation that was lost because their ancestors have refused to speak it aloud since about a generation before the Roman destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. Today, Yud He Wa He is most often meaning of the Hebrew letters Yud He Wa He. An ideogram is a symbol that represents an idea like the male and female shaped signs that you see on the outside of public restroom doors. Hebrew letters have had ideographic meanings since the most ancient of times. There are several ideographic meanings for each of the letters. Aleph, for example, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, can mean both ox or bull. Bet, the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet, represents the words house or tent. But in each case, the ideas represented by each of the letters are very closely related. With all of this in mind, using the ideographic meanings of Yud, He, Wa, He, most commonly accepted by Jewish scholars throughout the centuries, the translation of the letters Yud, He, Wa, He, of the holy name of God, symbolically speaking, can accurately be translated as Yud, the hand, he, a window or the meaning, behold or look, and wa, a nail. So, symbolically speaking, the combination of these letters can be accurately and most assuredly translated as Yud He Wa He, behold the hand, behold the nail. When one considers that Yeshua don't believe it, behold the hand, behold the nail.